One of Cincinnati's oldest businesses is up for sale again. It's been a few months since new owners took over and closed its doors. Mecklenburg Gardens was built in 1865 and the hopes are to keep all that history alive so future generations can enjoy it. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey got a look inside the historic site and gives us a sneak peek at what could be next. If you like a little history with your drinks, the beer stains at Mecklenburg Gardens is probably older than your great great grandparents. Your great great grandparents may have actually spilled those beers. And now is your chance to own a little bit of that Cincinnati history. The doors at Mecklenburg Gardens have been shuttered and the parking lot has sat empty since October when new owners sought to renovate the nearly 160 year old German restaurant and beer garden. It's a shame that it's not operating. Joshua Rothstein with the on site retail group says that the unnamed owner bought the property thinking someone would lease it and overhaul the building, but that never materialized. So the kitchen is cold, the steins are empty, the menus go on red. It leaves a great opportunity for somebody else to take it and make something great with it to keep the character, the integrity, the charm, the history that Mecklenburg Gardens had for so many years. The beer garden survived prohibition. The German cuisine withstood post-World War German stigma. Hopefully whoever ends up stepping up, taking it and making the most of it will really incorporate a lot of all of the history that it has. Rothstein says both he and the owner he represents knows anyone who buys the restaurant, large communal space and single family home next door could do whatever they want with it. But the package deal does come set up to keep the Mecklenburg history alive and well. With the building, whether you buy it or you lease it, you're gonna get the furniture, the fixtures, the equipment, the liquor license, and you can make the most of it. And if you are interested in buying or leasing the place, we have information over at WCPO.com. In Coryville, I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.